CBS News in Focus, this week we're bringing you an ongoing series called The American Spirit, Innovative Approaches to Some of Our Biggest Problems. Tonight, the math and science gap. Simply put, we're losing ground. A recent study compared high school students in 29 developed nations. Guess where American students ranked? 16th in science and 24th in math. But a billionaire businessman thinks he has a plan that adds up. His story is tonight's example of the American spirit. Can America compete with China and India when fewer and fewer of our students graduate with math, science, and engineering degrees? We got adding and subtracting. And this man sure doesn't think so, and if he's worried about it, you probably should be too. We have an economy that's dependent on technology, and we don't have a domestic workforce who's prepared. Fewer and fewer people who know math and science teach math and science. Not only do they not have enough math teachers, but the ones they have aren't sufficiently oh, yeah. qualified. Oh yeah, that's the whole point. You like this job, right? Jim Simons sure likes his job as head of a hedge fund called Renaissance Technologies. And this world-renowned mathematician turned college professor, turned billionaire businessman, is still passionate about numbers. What were you doing? Is this what you do to pass the time? Well, I've been actually working on a math problem in the last couple of years, so this is part of that. Last uh, couple of years? Yeah. Yeah, it takes a couple of years to solve a good problem. Whatever floats your boat, Jim. If he hasn't figured out how to solve this problem... We have X equals 7. He does think he's got the equation for getting more math teachers into New York City public schools. Find college graduates who love math, pay for them to get their master's degrees, and in addition to their regular salaries, pay them as much as $20,000 more a year. We don't want volunteers. We want people who will be committed to be a professional in this field and stay there. Now, a $20,000 bump is not all that much money, but on the other hand, it's meaningful and it makes people feel recognized. It's called Math for America, and Simon's put up almost $50 million of his own money to start it back in 2004. The goal? Getting 400 highly qualified math teachers in the classroom by 2009. What gave you sort of the, the moral gut check to say, I have to do something about this? I've made a lot of money, had a very interesting life, so for me to make a modest contribution of time and money to try to get things turned around doesn't seem very surprising. It's a modest contribution of time and money, but it's also the ability to draw attention and be the squeaky wheel. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to be, a squeaky wheel. How many people, Jim, have you been able to entice into this program so far? Oh, well, we're bringing in 50 a year. I mean, these are guys who graduated from MIT and Harvard. And, and gals. Yeah, in fact, half of them are gals. What was the probability of me rolling double sixes? Melanie Smith is one of Jim Simon's gals. While most of her friends from Columbia University pursued careers in finance, Melanie, who majored in math, started teaching. 18 of these numbers are even. I really wanted to do something when I graduated that had a, a tangible effect on where our country was going. And, and I felt that teaching was kind of the most powerful way to do that. How could we use theoretical probability? If something isn't done, do you think the United States will lose its, its position in the, in the global economy? Oh, without question. Because it's the intellectual power of America that gives us the potential like to stay in front. At a certain point, we will not be able to maintain our innovative edge in an increasingly scientific and technological world and we'll be left behind. Not if Jim Simons has his way. He says we can stay on top if we invest in American brain power by hiring teachers who can ignite the imaginations of the next generation of math lovers. Math for America, by the way, may go national. Supporters are working on a bill in Congress to implement it throughout the country. Tomorrow on The American Spirit, why do so many seniors end up in nursing homes when there is a less expensive alternative? We'll meet one woman who's helping mom and dad stay in the comfort of their own home. And coming up next on the CBS Evening News, they escaped the war in Iraq. Now these women are being forced to make another desperate choice.